And um, I went to go meet him down there one day so we could bust a move. This is when he just signed with Bad Boy. He didn't even have an album out yet. He was just getting signed. And I went to use a bathroom, and it was a dildo um, on the bathroom sink. Brother. And sheesh. when I came out, I asked him something. <laughs> Angela Yee's like, sheesh, yeesh, woo. You're, you're, you're not even going to hide your dildo. You're not even going to, you know, like, tidy up. Niggas like, nah, fuck it, bro. That's a dildo, bro. A dildo. A dildo? A dildo? Like, I don't think right now, if Will Smith and P. Diddy were to come out and just say, like, hey, I like, I like you know, goggling. You know, I like getting pounded from behind. I like the, the booty blaster 3000, you know? It's not such a big thing, but it's the fact that you guys are hiding it and you're like making up things and I'm going to, the lawsuit is coming, bro. We, Will, we know you ain't, you ain't coming with no lawsuit. Like you had to address every single thing. You had to apologize about every single thing, right? But now a person is attacking your manhood and you have nothing to say about that. That's pretty weird. Like if somebody came out, young boys, get, bro, I'm the first, I am the first one to come out with it and like, Look at my track record. Look at the girls which I've been with. You know, I, very hard, very hard for a person to come out without rumor because it's just, it's just not me. Yes, I do have fashion. You know, I'm dressed to the T, but you can't, you can't say that I'm a homosexual. So early in the show, we talked about the fact that uh, Cassie filed a lawsuit in New York against Diddy yesterday, claiming okay. she was stuck in a decade-long cycle of abuse, violence, and sex trafficking. If you missed it, here's what you missed. Also tonight, music mogul Sean Diddy Combs, accused of sex trafficking and sexual assault in a lawsuit filed in federal court here in New York. Chloe Malas is here. Chloe, what more do we know about this? Uh, Lester, the lawsuit filed by Cassandra Ventura, known by her stage name Cassie, met Combs when she was 19 years old. She was... Ah, Diddy, you have some explaining to do. A 19-year-old girl. I don't know. This is... Oh. It was later signed to Combs' record label, and the pair had been romantically involved. Ventura alleges that Combs not only raped her, but over the course of a decade... It physically abused her, as well as, quote, lured her into a drug-fueled lifestyle. Ventura says that after years in silence and darkness, she's finally ready to tell her story. Now, Combs's lawyer said in a statement in part that his client vehemently denies the allegations, calling them Bro. baseless. I'm going to tell you one thing. This is the this is exact reason why Me Too should exist. I'm not a P. Diddy fan. I know nothing about him. I've heard a lot of speculations around that man of the things that he does. Uh, but this is this is a good reason why the Me Too movement should exist. And if this guy is guilty, get him out of here. But he has to have his day in court. That's all that I have to say. He has to have his day in court because you can't just attack him right now. Okay, Cassie's coming out with these allegations and we're going to cancel him. No, he has to have his day in court. And then when they actually can prove that he did all these things, then we cancel him. But Diddy, right now, it doesn't look good for you, my guy. In a recent interview, Gina, the girlfriend of Diddy, has made shocking allegations against him. Do whatever the fuck I want to do. Gina courageously came forward to share her experiences, claiming that she endured a tumultuous relationship marked by abusive behavior. She recounted distressing incidents of physical violence, recounting one instance where Diddy allegedly mushed her face forcefully, causing her nose to bleed. Gina further disclosed that amidst such moments, in an even more troubling revelation, Gina asserted that she was coerced by Diddy into undergoing two abortions. Listen, Diddy is maybe one of the like hip hop's biggest producers. So of course you're gonna get a crazy ego. That's all that I'm saying. I'm not behind it. I'm just saying, like, his ego must be crazy. With him reportedly providing her with $50,000 on each occasion. These grave allegations emerged in the wake of Cassie's announcement of her pregnancy with her new partner. As of now, Diddy has yet to address these accusations publicly. 
leaving a cloud of uncertainty and prompting discussions on the responsibilities of public figures in addressing such serious matters. Thank God Jennifer Lopez escaped that. Thank God. Bruh, and that's why I'm also saying like there's sexual rumors of him being a homosexual. In 2009, rapper Exhibit had a night out with Diddy that took Oof. an unexpected turn. The rap mogul took him to a club that turned out to be a haven for the LGBTQ oh, plus Lord. community, leaving Exhibit feeling quite bewildered. Jesus, we bounced out of bruh, look at that, bruh. Look at what they're doing to the guy. Bruh, so, social media is undefeated. Look at what they're doing to the guy. Sweaty with a young boy. God damn, they got to... I don't even want to say that this guy's a hip hop legend because honestly, I don't know so much about Diddy, but Oof. listen, they're probably going to do this to me and whoever becomes big in the future. They're, they're come, going to come after you. They're gonna, that's why your, your closet's got to be clean. You got to be clean. You got to be super clean. Because if you're not, bro, bro, that, that, that picture is mad. That picture, right, bro, this is crazy, bro. We're doing this to my guy, Diddy, the legend, hip hop's royalty. Straight away, I didn't even say goodbye to anyone. It was Hella says he later recorded. And if that wasn't enough to fuel rumors about Diddy's sexuality, mm. he once made a slip up that had everyone talking. During an interview, he accidentally let it slip that he had slept with Usher, causing a stir among fans and critics alike. For oh my God, why are you doing that to Usher? Usher is just, you see, Usher is that guy which just tries to stay out of trouble. Isn't he going to like perform at the Super Bowl soon? Leave Usher out of this, brah. I don't, I don't like Usher, honestly. I think that his music is like lukewarm. But I don't, I don't think that you should drag him into this because Usher is quiet. I, Usher is that guy which is just like, nah, bro, I want to leave the club early. I do not want to be connected to anybody. He seems like a nice guy. He helped Justin Bieber. And who knows, maybe, oh my, bro, what would you do to, to become famous? Would you suck a ding dong? Years, rumors about Diddy's sexuality have been circulating on the internet, with many speculating that he may be gay. Despite the lack of evidence, people have long suspected that he may be hiding something. However, in 2021, a tweet praising Lil Nas X's performance at the Bet Awards became the perfect opportunity mm. for internet trolls to once again poke fun at Diddy and his alleged sexuality. Diddy wants to kiss Lil Nas X now. Be fearless, Diddy. Come out of the closet and show the world it's Bruh. okay to be gay. Stop playing. Bruh. Bruh. It's, it's not even, it's not even fair what they're doing to the guy. Uh, let's see here. Let's see here. <laughs> He's a little sus. He is a little sus. I'm, listen, Diddy, do not come for me. I love you, Diddy. Do not send your goons to me, but that shit is a little sus. A little sus, bro. He's a little cringy. He's a little cringy. Let's see here what she has to say. I need to get some of my news from her. Y'all come and sit down and shut the door. Young Miami has just confirmed, just confirmed most of Cassie's lawsuit. And baby, she did it while she was trying to clown Puffy's other woman, or as she liked to say, Puffy's munch, Gina. Y'all sit down. We are going deep into surviving Diddy. This is going to be oh, a series, and baby, no, you can call it. No, 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 no. Don't, don't. Surviving Diddy surviving diddy that's that's a little bit too much this is part one young miami just accidentally exposed diddy or at the very least it looks like she confirmed what cassie was saying y'all ready to get into this let's go but loki you gotta give it to diddy his track record is insane the women which he has dated okay if you've been hiding under a rock let me just bring you up to speed really quick okay Cassie, who was the ex-girlfriend of Puffy, they were together for over 10 years, came with a ground 
heartbreaking lawsuit. It is not looking good for Puffy. They are all allegations, but baby, these allegations seem to have weight. Yeah, I did. I actually got the court documents. I did a full recap of all 35 pages. The news articles do not do the gory papers justice. I'm telling you, trigger warning, but you need to watch that live. But forget all that, okay? Puffy, she made a lot of claims about Puffy. She said that Puffy made her wear white nails because he liked the way that her fingers looked wrapped mm. around dark. I don't even think I can oh say it right. My. On top of that, she said that he literally blank trafficked her, um, made her search for male blank workers so that he could watch her blank them. And it was all this crazy stuff. It was literally some eyes wide shut, but like on some ta on, on taken level. Brother, oh Lord, they're going crazy on him. They're going crazy on my guy. Let's see here. Say whatever you got to say. Bruh, they're going crazy on my guy here. Let's see here. Let's see here if we can get the sound going. Nigga, be a man and say, I like dick if you like dick. <laughs> say you want it or say you need it. Say whatever you got to say, but nigga, be honest. Mm. Oh, don't leave us hanging like yeah. this here, my nigga. Cause we all know you did that to that boy. Uh, cause you wouldn't even explain yourself to the detective. Nigga, you know if you done that or if you didn't do it, you supposed to plead the fifth. Nigga. True. And that's what I'm also saying. You know, the whole everything which is happening with even with Will Smith, I'm I'm like, just be just come out with it. If you if you like getting on all fours and you know, I don't know, giving the Glock Glock three thousand, just say it, bro. Instead of doing all this, no, I'm not, I did. Why? Like, I don't think right now, if Will Smith and P Diddy were to come out and just say like, hey, I like I like you know goggling, you know, I like getting pounded from behind, I like the the booty blaster three thousand, you know. It's not such a big thing, but it's the fact that you guys are hiding it and you're like making up things and I'm going to, the lawsuit is coming, bro. We, Will, we know you ain't, you ain't coming with no lawsuit. Like you had to address every single thing. You had to apologize about every single thing, right? But now a person is attacking your manhood and you have nothing to say about that. That's pretty weird. Like if somebody came out, young boys, get, bro, I'm the first, I am the first one to come out with it and like, Look at my track record. Look at the girls which I've been with. You know, I, very hard, very hard for a person to come out without rumor because it's just, it's just not me. Yes, I do have fashion. You know, I'm dressed to the T, but you can't, you can't say that I'm a homosexual. You know that that a person can't come out and say that about me. It's just, it's just, you can just see it on on a person, right? And if a person is constantly trying to hide this, bro. Will Smith is not even like making, if I was Will Smith, I'll come out, make jokes about just anything, like address it, my guy. You can't let people be making, they making you look mad out in these streets. I came in the room, it was, it was murder, it was killing him, murder, bro. I'm like, God damn, Will, you, ca you can't take this sitting down. P Diddy's, P Diddy's getting fried on social media, bro. Right now they're cooking Diddy. Bruh, let's see here what this this guy the, and the and the crazy part about this is like people when things like this are happening every single person has an opinion on it they, they're ready to fry you my guy they're ready they're ready let's see if we can get and um i went to go meet him down there one day so we could bust a move this is when he just signed with bad boy he didn't even have an album out yet he was just getting signed and I went to use a bathroom, and it was a dildo um, on the bathroom sink. Brother. And Sheesh. when I came out, I asked him something. <laughs> Angela Yee's like, shish, yish, woo. You're, you're, you're not even going to hide your dildo. You're not even going to, you know, like, tidy up. Niggas like, nah, fuck it, bro. That's a dildo, bro. A dildo. A dildo? A dildo? About he like. That's homeboy's joint, you know. I, oh my god. I don't know what it's about. 
he always have girls over here, but I don't know. I said, well, this is for your sink. This is your bathroom. You're using this bathroom. <laughs> I don't know where. Bruh. 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 This bathroom, at, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, and that's word to my son, because stop breathing. I but swear But you know what, guys? Use dildos on girls sometimes. That's true. We seen some. What he said, know, was, I'm not saying he didn't. Right. I'm just, just telling you what I said. It was just awkward. I'm not saying that right. he didn't. And, um. Rising. Boy, um, they're having the times of their lives, like, 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 you know, where we hanging out and what we doing. Um, we we can't really disclose. Listen, fourteen years old. That's creepy, bro. That's a bit weird. It's not like for for men. It's not as weird as it would have been if he had a. 14 year old girl there then bro then they'll cook him directly then it's like okay because he could be teaching him something but in it's also the music industry so maybe they're doing music ah, it's, a, it's a bit cringe it's a bit cringe it's a bit cringe but um it's definitely a 15 year old dream oh my um, you know, I, it's not it's it wasn't my dream when i was 15 i wasn't thinking like oh my god i want to hang out with diddy you know maybe maybe bow wow because we're almost not nah, okay bow was way older than me but bow wow i used to see him when i was like 15 he was super big making music he was with cassie and i was like god man i, I wish i was bow wow but if we're just saying like if diddy were to call me when i was like what 15 and it's like hey you want to hang out i'll be like eh, i don't know if i want to hang i like well, i don't have nothing in common with you we don't i don't i don't look up to you like like the, what what are we gonna what are we gonna do and even the music is not even connected like that but who knows man maybe he's trying to make a buck i have been given custody of him you know he signed the usher uh, I, I had legal guardianship of usher when when you know he, he did his first album, I did his first album. I don't really, I don't have legal guardianship of him, but for the next forty eight hours, he's with me. So, um, and, yeah, and, and we gonna go full. <laughs> oh, Diddy, please. Okay, if you're if you're a uh, a sexual deviant, do not don't film yourself. If you if you have something weird, some weird shit that you do, don't film yourself. Just Try to stay in the shadows, like a little bit, like a little bit like Weinstein. Just be a little bit like Weinstein. He's not really on the camera. He's just like that guy you've seen, but you don't really know who it is. But brah, Diddy, you can't, you can't be both a star and you, that doesn't work. Both full crazy. I'm going crazy. Crazy. I'm taking this out tonight. What you want to do? What you want to do over the next forty-eight hours? boy um leave it in the comment section do you think ooh, do you think Oof, that's weird 14 years old justin bieber's just 14 years old and where's the parents hollywood is man hollywood my guy what Bro, this girl has been everywhere. Let's 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 hear. Dog, first of all, if anybody, if anybody gets sued and they settle the case the next fucking day, they did that. Shit, okay, they did that. Shit. Whatever they say they do, they did that. Shit. More importantly, if Sean P Diddy, I don't pay no fucking body combs, settles it. Oh, he did that. Yeah. Mr. I take everybody's publishing. Yeah. yeah. Mr. I wouldn't dream again. Yeah. That's that's a good point. That is a good point because there's so many people which has gone for Sean for this. And he never pays anybody. So that's a that's a great point. Royalties? Mr. I uh, This is a Yeah. This is a nigga who makes pay yeah. to get out of his day contracts. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. 
Diddy and Diddy settle that and pay that immediately? Do you know how, the amount of artists this have sued this have taken up arms against this and he wouldn't pay them, but he paid, he did that yeah. and then some, and he wouldn't dare let it get to a court. Dog. This is the thing with social media. I don't know. I don't know what to think right now because I, yes, it could be true. It could be, it could be true. I would, if, if I were to put in percentage wise, I would say it's maybe 60% right now true. Or I would say 70, 30, but who knows? Who knows? One more. Let's let's look at one more before we. Oh my God! Surviving Puffy. God. Oh my God, guys! You don't have to do that. Yeah, let's one more. One more. Just try to. Just try against to... Diddy, and she's alleging some pretty disturbing. Against Diddy, and she's alleging some pretty disturbing things. So I want to start with a trigger warning. In this lawsuit, Cassie accuses Diddy of rape, Oof. physical assault, oh. and sex trafficking. According to the lawsuit, Cassie met Diddy when she was 19 years old and got into a relationship with him when she was 22 years old and he was 40 years old. According to court documents, he immediately introduced her to a fast-paced, drug-filled lifestyle. She also alleges that he blew up Kid Cudi's car for being romantically interested in her. In the lawsuit, she says she signed a 10-album deal with Diddy shortly after meeting him and that he quickly helped her achieve success musically. But she says that he was highly critical and not long after, he was controlling all aspects of her life. She then alleges that once they were involved romantically, that he started forcing her to have sex with male sex workers while under the influence of drugs and while he watched. Lawson also details how, years. How can you even let your girlfriend have sex with other guys? Like, I'm possessive in that way. I would never allow that. Like, maybe it's my masculinity, but I can't, I can't do that. I can't, like Cassie, bro. Loki Cassie's of physical abuse while it alleges that his staff did little or nothing to help. The lawsuit also alleges that Diddy, Sean Combs, would force her to take copious amounts of drugs that eventually led her into an addiction. Another trigger warning, here you can see that she says that he raped her when she tried to leave him in 2018. According to court documents, she checked into a rehab center after leaving him because of the trauma and the abuse that she suffered during their 10 years together. The lawsuit goes into detail about the alleged abuse, some of it that I don't want to get into. This is the thing, like how can you spend 10 years with a person? If this person is constantly abusing you that that i do not get 10 years honestly cassie you're not smart enough to leave after the first time not i'm not going to accept that look at what rihanna did rihanna both destroyed chris brown's career and left i think you have to go the rihanna route too because it is just too heavy lawsuit was filed in new york it is public record and cassie's lawyer has represented some of harvey weinstein's victims god damn yeah, I think I, I want to end it with the R. Kelly one, that meme. Man, who's worse, R. Kelly or uh, P. Diddy? These men's legacies are getting... And this is the thing which I'm... I'm starting to realize this. Like, Hollywood is just a place where they're trying to just blackmail you. It's all about blackmail. The people which they don't have blackmail on, they're going to blacklist. Diddy and all of these guys, they'll allow them to do all that shit. But once they do not want to follow the script anymore, guess what? The blackmail comes in. I think even the thing with Michael Jackson, I honestly do not believe that Michael Jackson did that because the way they went for Michael Jackson, even, even after he died, even Oprah and everybody attack. I'm like, the guy's gone. But still, they're going for him. They're going for him. And I know a lot of a lot of these people got probably paid to attack Michael. But R. Kelly and P. Diddy, hey, my niggas, rest in peace. That's all that I have to say. Because honestly, you guys sold out. You sold your soul to the devil. And that is just the way... It goes. But anyways, guys, like, comment, and share. And tell me if you guys like videos like this. Now, this is the first time when I'm trying this format. Never done it before, but it has been very interesting to try this. So I think I'm going to be doing more videos like this. But anyways, guys, like, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.